Man, it is really nice outside today. But I play Yu-Gi-Oh, I don't go outside. Alright you guys, welcome to yet another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Fan Mail Mondays where it is beautiful outside in Oklahoma. I wish I was outside right now, but I have to do all of this first. Man, but I have so much stuff to open. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is so, so amazing. Thank you guys so much for sending all this. Like seriously, you guys blow me away every single week. Um, to put this to, to put this into perspective for you guys, um, about this amount of mail right here that you're seeing is like what I used to get like on a really crazy Monday, and I'm getting this like every single week now guys and I just want to thank um, all of you for that seriously just um, the amount of mail you send me and all the cool stuff you send me and uh, just the cool cards that you send me to sign and, and just everything guys I want to thank all of you just so much for sending and thank you all so much for watching and just everything else you do for me thank you all so so much but now with all that sappy stuff out of the way if you want to send me your fan mail the P.O. Box is 1391 Owasso Oklahoma 74055 and if you want cards signed and sent back to you all you have to do is put in a stamped, you know, an addressed envelope that you addressed yourself in with your card so I have something to send them back in. And that's and that's it. That's all you have to do, guys. So with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and get to opening some mail. Alright, so this first one is from a Jason Sam and this is from Canada. So let's see what got here from Canada, guys. So we have uh, the return envelope, a bunch of cards, and that is everything. I think that's everything. Yeah, everything out of that. Let's see what this says. Let's see what my instructions are. So read first, okay? So, oh my gosh, so many, oh, so much to read. Okay, okay, okay. So, dear Yugi Tick Slap. <laughs> um, that's a new one, I think. I don't know. I have so many names. Why do I have so many names anyway? <laughs> so, I am sorry for my handwriting, but my Microsoft Word crashed. Oh no. I have been subscribed to you since I uh, saw Roberto's uh, Hero Deck profile. That was... Ooh, that was a, which one? I did a couple and that was a long time ago. I can't even tell you the last time I talked to him. Oh my gosh, that was literally over a year ago at least. Wow. Uh, I recently quit Yu-Gi-Oh! because I had a bad luck with pools and I am a very budget uh, budget player. I'm sorry to hear that. I still have my uh, Blackwing and Crystal uh, Beast decks. I have uh, shifted uh, my hobby to uh, Marvel Legends and movie uh, Transformers figures. Enclosed in the envelope are three uh, Virgils and a Dante. I uh, bought the uh, three Virgils at a local uh, card store for uh, three Canadian dollars. I have a question for you. What is your favorite uh, Marvel movie? Mine is X-Men Days of Future Past. That was a really good one. But my favorite Marvel movie, um, it might be Iron Man. I really feel like they picked a really good actor for Iron Man and that first um, Iron Man movie was done really, really well. So it might be Iron Man. I'm not I'm not sure though. I really liked Spider-Man a lot growing up though. So it just it just depends on the day. If you have a secret rare or ultra rare Stardust Dragon from Legend Legendary Collection 5Ds, no, I actually sold, I mean, if I have stuff from 5Ds, it's like bolt crap that you don't want. <laughs> like, I think I've sold all the good stuff from that uh, like a long time ago. I lost my secret rare one and my friend stole the ultra one. Oh, dude, we'll, we'll, we'll beat him up and get your card back. What, like, what are you talking? talking about. Uh, uh, sincerely, uh, Hogan the Grim. Uh, P.S. Um, I just remembered that I once uh, bought a mini box of premium gold uh, three for uh, $10 Canadian. I ended up pulling two Hope Harbingers. That's good. I sold one and I pulled uh, ended up buying um, a pack of Hidden Arsenal 7. I ended up pulling Seraphonites. That's good. Then I went to the same card store the next week and I bought two Invasion Vengeance Special Editions and I pulled a D-Barrier, which I traded for a box of Raging Tempest. Both times I pulled good. Um, I was with a friend will keep that friend around because he seems to be your good luck charm hopefully he's not the same one that stole your stardust though <laughs> but pps uh, sorry for the lack of stamps i live in canada also um also something about simu makes great coffee <laughs> okay um dear eugene you suck <laughs> <laughs> that was mean. Uh, so that was everything out of that. Well, thank you so much for writing. There, you guys' paper is thicker. This feels like really thick for paper. It feels almost like construction paper. That's crazy. It must, it must not be like recycled paper or whatever. I will absolutely sign these and get them right back to you, dude. Thank you so much for writing all the way from Canada, dude. Thank you so much for watching and everything else. Uh, once again, I'll be sure to get these right back to you. Thank you so much. Next up is from Joe Abazia. This guy, again, this guy has seriously been writing every week. Dude, you are a madman. What do you have to say? 
say this week though. So we have a Karibo token. <laughs> what? Let's see what this says. So uh, that, that's the backside. Yugi bro bro, this week I decided to send a token to help stall for time against the Jerry Menace. No, I have defeated the Jerry Menace. You underestimated me, my friend. You underestimated me. My Yu-Gi-Oh themed goal is to be ready uh, to try to enter regionals with uh, with my Burning Abyss when a Cherubini is released in the TCG uh, later this year. So I figured I would come to Yugi Jesus for his sage advice. One of my favorite practice methods is to separate the deck randomly into eight uh, different opening hands and to try playing through each one. Do you have any other tips for practicing outside of playing at locals? Um, what I do, um, you could pile shuffle what I'll do instead of doing what you, what you were just talking about and separating your hands out. Uh, what I'll do is I'll like seriously like just shuffle like and it takes longer but I'll shuffle up and then just cut the deck in different ways, okay? So basically like pile shuffle and then regular shuffle like you normally would and then like uh, practice cutting the deck in different ways um, to simulate um, different ways your opponent will cut your deck. In other, you know, if that makes any sort of sense. That's just something I thought of because not everyone like splits decks like right down the middle. I've, I've gone against some people that just like count off the top 10 cards of your deck and I put them on the bottom. And like, you know, everyone's, everyone's different and stuff so it's good to practice, you know, different cuts of your deck and not necessarily just focus on like, you know, just the, the same cards in a row or whatever i don't know how uh, how else to explain it but uh it's good to practice against uh, different scenarios let's put it let's put it that way but um go to um if you want to play against like really good players and stuff um if you, and if you have the time it takes forever to duel on dueling book but like if you want to go against like really good players like there are really good players on dueling book you play against it just takes like four years to complete one game let alone a match so <laughs> keep that in mind uh, that's the, that's why i don't play on dueling book just because of the sheer amount of time it takes but if you uh if you're serious about like practicing and wanting to get good like just sit on Dueling Book and play over and over and over again like you will get good. Also, any general tips for going from locals to regionals? Um, just practice. I mean, that's that's really um, my um, my main deal because practice, like, uh, my main piece of advice, I should say, like, because um, practice will not only make you a better player and prepare you for a regional, but, like, practice will also make you realize, like, flaws in your deck and make you um, pick better cards to correct those flaws that you come across from playing it a lot. So, uh, practice is really just, practice makes perfect. It just, it applies to everything, you know what I mean? But, uh, also, I just watched your Behind the Yugi Tuber podcast you did with CVIT. Really cool to get that extra behind the scenes look. I know you, there you said he's uh, busy a lot, so I figured I'd ask before just sending it. But is it possible to send a card and have Eugene signed it? Sign it. Uh, it's. it's I guess it's possible. I'll probably send Drive for him to sign since you signed my uh, Cyber Dragons, which since they are displayed in my binder, when I play at my locals, people flip through the binder, ask you, uh, sign them, and then pro proceed to uh, try to trade for them and talk about, talk, and I don't know how else to say no, so if anyone hears this, no, they aren't for trade. <laughs> That's really good. Uh, anyways, this has turned into a question letter, so I guess I'll ask a few more. What is your favorite card art ooh ooh uh, I'll have to come back to that one uh, uh, Fuchio Richie is really good um, there's there's a bunch of cards like I could rattle off a lot but let's just let's just move on uh, that, that's like a whole video topic idea you're talking about right there so maybe I'll have to answer that in video form one of these days uh, for me it's a tie between uh, Cherries of uh, Unending Nightmare that one's a good one and Chaos Goddess and I'll ask uh, one more question what is something you wish uh, they would base an archetype off of uh, I, I don't know. Someone's asked me this before, and I can't remember what I answered. And I, uh, I seriously, honestly, I really haven't thought about that much because, um, um, you know, he, yeah, he's, he's saying like, you know, how Quantum's are Power Rangers, Cosmos, Star Wars, Vindreds, Resident Evil, etc. Um, yeah, that's what he's talking about. Um, like, I don't really, I'm not the biggest fan of that in Yu-Gi-Oh, believe it or not. I'm really not. I'm kind I'm really old school. I like the, you know, the old school standalone cards, you know, standalone art from those cards and stuff. I'm just, I'm, I'm just old. <laughs> I mean, I'm only 20 something, but like, I just feel so old sometimes because like, you know, my taste in, in cards is like so much different from like everybody else, you know, everyone else, I swear. It's, it's, it, I don't know. I just feel like way too nostalgic sometimes, but that's, that's just me. Um, but, um, so like, I can't really answer your question because I, I just really, really don't no, I'm sorry. Uh, for me, I would say my favorite anime of all time, uh, Yu Yu Hakusho, or my oh, a Death Note one would be really cool. Now, oh, now if, you, if you're talking about anime, a Death Note themed one would be would be really cool. But I don't know. 
I don't know how that would work. Or my other obsession, werewolves, he goes on to say. Um, I don't know 100% how they would uh, they would work. Maybe uh, like a moon field spell? That would work. Um, and like uh, without the spell, you play the human forms and then, oh, that would be, <laughs> that's actually a really good idea for the Death Note one. Um, maybe, maybe you'd be like, um, a, a, like a hidden book thing you know what I mean like the death notes like this hidden book like you want it's like almost like a thing you don't want to draw or whatever but it's long as long as it's not in your hand and it's in your deck you know I don't I don't know I like I'm just going off the, off the top of my head right here I have no idea what you know what that kind of deck would even look like then with the spell you swap out for the buffed up wolves uh, sort of like UA switch between offense and defense yeah that makes sense um, honestly I don't know um, how bad or clunky it would be or just I mean if, if cosmos can win I mean I, I don't see a problem with that deck winning um, I've vanished uh, long enough. I'm, uh, I've, I've uh, got on. I, I think that's what he's trying to say. I've, I've something. I've something long enough. I'm sorry. As always, I'll dick slap the like button. Joe Abazia, aka the ruler of the fan mail, Monday tier two. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that there was tiers. Uh, apparently, we have a defined tier system on here on uh, Yu-Gi-Oh fan mail. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, thank you so much for writing. Uh, you write some of the best letters I get, seriously. Uh, really, really good questions. I'm sorry I couldn't answer that one. Oh, well, I guess I kind of did because, you know, Death Note. Death Note would be a really good one. It's one of the few animes I have seen. I'm not a, you know, the biggest anime fan. I've seen, like, all the biggest ones, you know, like like Death Note. Uh, but, you know, Full Metal Alchemist, etc. Like, I've seen, like, all the most famous ones. But um, I'm not I'm not a big anime fan or anything like that. I'm not, I've never been, like, the biggest fan of, you know, introducing, like, outside things into Yu-Gi-Oh! Just because I, I think Yu-Gi-Oh! should just be Yu-Gi-Oh! But that's just, that's just me being an old fart or something, I guess. But, but anyways, dude, thank you so much for writing again, and uh, I hope that you keep ruling over the tier two fan mail. Uh, whatever, let's move on. <laughs> Next, we're gonna open up this one because I'm not gonna lie, I did peek inside, but I only peeked inside this one. Be oh yeah, I, and by the way, this one is from Jeremy Baltimore. Okay, I forgot to say that. <laughs> but like I was saying, um, I, I only peeked inside this one because it was already open. Like this kind of came off, so I was making sure that everything is in there. I seriously pulled it out of the box like this, guys. This is, I mean, so um, if you guys are concerned about this, like I, I have problems with these all the time. Like when people send these, you know, these metal things come off. Uh, just put like a line of tape on this. And, and you should be fine if you're concerned and, you, and this is all you have to send in just uh, you know put a line of tape on there um, I just want everybody to have everything um, not only get here to me but um, if you send me cards to sign I want to make sure that everything gets back so if you guys are uneasy about packaging and stuff tape is your friend uh, that's all I'm gonna say but uh, moving on here moving on here I looked inside this and it is another Yu-Gi-Oh magazine I didn't see these cards though that's pretty sweet but I did look inside and this is a freaking sweet Yu-Gi-Oh magazine um, let's see, we'll see what this says in a second. I'm just still getting everything out of this. Actually, that is everything out of that. So let's read this. Okay, so see what my instructions are with all of this. What's going on, guys? It's Simu, and today we have a new video. Wait, I'm thinking of using the wrong introduction. Hey, guys, it's Cybernite. Today we're opening... Wait, it's still the wrong introduction? All joking aside, what's going on, man? I don't know nothing much. I'm just opening all this stuff. Uh, what are you, what's going on with you? I'm the guy uh, who jokes uh, about weeding out his large, his large as fuck binder, so as I told you, I've been a fan of yours for a while now. I've been enjoying your videos. Yeah, dude, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember... I I remember you now. Uh, I've been enjoying, like, once again, I'm, like, terrible with names, guys. Terrible, terrible with names. I'm, I'm trying to get better, but you guys know me. I'm, like, awful with names. Like, I'm really good at faces, terrible with names. I'm one of those people. But uh, he goes on to say, I've, I've been enjoying your videos, including your recent fights with Jerry Beans, man. Um, never have I laughed so damn hard at <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh since I got into Little Karibo. So I, I need to watch a, a Yu-Gi-Oh abridge. And everyone says it's, like, really funny, but I just have I, I've seen it, but I haven't, like, watched it all the way through. But um, anyways, I've seen all of DBZ abridge, and I'm current on that. But uh, moving on so I decided to include a, um, a certain furball to uh, help you out in your fight um, since me uh, me gustabo doesn't seem to be <laughs> around at the right time to help along with this letter I have included a few more cards some uh, some of them are favorites and um, others to help out your um, insect deck along with a couple of questions that I am sure a lot of people and the four girls in <laughs> watch want to know <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, question number one. What are your uh, what are a few shows that you enjoy watching or binge watching in your free time? Well, um, 
Um, I don't like the shows that I that I rewatch a lot. I mean, I like I really like King of the Hill. I really like South Park a lot. I really like Metalocalypse. Some of my favorite shows. Um, I, I've actually re uh, speaking of Death Note um, earlier. I recently rewatched Death Note all the way through because you know it's probably my favorite anime. Um, right up there, with Dragon Ball Z. Um, love. That's another thing. Another show I love to watch is Dragon Ball Z. Um, you know, really nostalgic, really good shows. Um, and plus, like, Dragon Ball Z never gets old if you're a guy, like, ever. Like, I mean, you're, you'll be, like, seven years old, watch Dragon Ball Z, and then you're, like, you know, 100, and you're still watching Dragon Ball Z. I don't know if you guys have seen that meme, but it's very, very true. Um, so I guess those are some um, off the top of my head, but let's keep on trucking here because I have a lot of other stuff to open. So question number two. Uh, uh, what made Yu-Gi-Oh! protagonist, um, excluding Yugi, has interested uh, you the most or seems like the one... Uh, who knows what they are doing? Um, I really liked like I was talking about this in the last fan mail. Uh, Raphael from um, from um, uh, Waking the Dragons. I really liked his character and stuff. I thought it was like one of the best parts of the um, the most like dark and like twisted uh, kind of. I guess you could. I guess you could say uh, parts in the original anime uh, was when Raphael, um, you know, he won against uh, the Pharaoh and then took Yugi. And I thought that that was like when I first saw that, I was like. What? You know, and I was like, you know, 10 years old or something like that. But I was just like, whoa, this is crazy. Uh, but moving on here, moving on here. So question number three, um, if you could do a collab with any person on YouTube, past or present, who would it be and what would it be? Ooh, ooh, um, gosh, I really miss Galactic God. Um, I really, really miss Galactic God. Probably Galactic God, um, in all honesty. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna say Galactic God. He was the, the just amazing guy, amazing guy. Uh, question number four: um, Out of all the new mechanics we've gotten from Synchro to Link, uh, which one is your absolute favorite uh, that you haven't uh, that you have to include into every deck you make? Oh, it's 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 Xyz. Like the Xyz mechanic, um, just uh, being able to use uh, two monsters to the same level and just have like a toolbox to me is just amazing. I really like rank four uh, rank four uh, toolbox decks. Um, I was talking about that last week. Um, just yeah, the Xyz mechanic, just love it, love it, love it. Aside Aside from that, that's really it. Thanks for uh, making us smile and laugh all these years with your awesome as hell videos. Thank you for being the only Yugi tuber that actually has fan mail uh, thing going so the fans can be involved in the community. Also, I hope we uh, get to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, musical parodies. Yes, yeah, they're, they're, they're uh, I still say Fields Wide Open is the best of my absolute favorites. Um, the All-Star one's my favorite so far, but um, the Trickstar one, um, but um, the uh, the blue eyes one. Um, the, the thing is, I've, I've been talking about this for a couple weeks. Um, so the song is done. Like it's 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 a it's a Mister it's a Mister Brightside parody. Um, the thing is, um, the music the music part is done, and I've said this several times, but like I I haven't got everybody together to uh, do a music video, and I haven't even scripted the music video. Um, and the reason behind that is um, not only uh, let's just uh, one part of that's one of the one of the many reasons to put it this way is uh, Sam. Uh, Sam is not only doing things. You no, know, not only is he, is he married, but his wife is in his band so he's always doing stuff with his band and not only all of that but he actually just moved further away from me so um with all that um it's kind of hard to you know to do a music video when it's just you you know what i mean and eugene's always busy so like when it's just me uh it's, it kind of gets difficult you know so um i need i need uh um, not, not to complain or anything, but it would be nice to kind of have some more help so I could get more, you know, big project videos pumped out like that more often because I can't tell you how frustrating it is right now uh, being me having like all these like big project uh, videos like planned out, typed out, you know, uh, wanting to do, but like not having anybody around to help you do them because uh, it's not, it's just not a one person job, you know what I mean? Uh, but um, yeah, so uh, long story short, um, the, the videos, you know, the, everything's in the works. It's just like a matter of time. Like, I mean, all these videos are gonna get made. It's just like, when are they gonna get made? You know what I mean? The music videos, there's gonna be more music videos, a lot more music videos in the future. It's just like, when am I gonna get to actually make it? That's that's the big question, but, uh, so moving on here. Thanks and stay golden, old Toonami reference. Jeremy A. Baltimore, P.S. If you are wondering what an uh, anaphora means, it's a fancy way of saying repeated word. Okay, I was going to uh, say, uh, palindrome but i realized that a palindrome is one the word is the same uh forwards and backwards like race car gotcha pss for for a Yu Gi Oh channel i love that you are not a pg person who will make videos like top nine duties Yu Gi Oh card names is it possible we could sequel to that absolutely um if i can think of nine more yeah uh since we now have the king of d gap on the horizon and i and uh, we have the question how much sex do you have to be to be known as the king of d that is a really good question but dude um thank you so 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 
so much for sending this. This is incredible. Um, I will probably, um, I can't wait to look through this. You know, this is, oh my gosh. I'm not even going to spoil it for you guys. Uh, this is all me. I'm sorry. This is way cool. I can't wait to look through. The, oh my gosh. I just saw a Toon Rabbit. That is really cool. Oh my gosh. Dark Rabbit. Oh my gosh, I just saw that. That's really cool. Love it. Love it. Love this already. Can't wait to look through it later. Um, I, dude, thank you so much for sending the cards. Thank you so much for just for just everything, dude. Thank you so much for writing. Um, oh my, I, I'm just I'm overwhelmed right now. Next up, we have one from Diego Cernadas. So let's see what he has to say today. So we have some cards, the return envelope, and a little letter. So let's see what this says. Uh, Dear Yugi No No, greetings from the city that never sleeps. I am a Ca uh, pretty casual Yu-Gi-Oh player only playing in libraries with friends for fun but I've been uh, wanting to go a, a, a little competitive so I was wondering what cards would be good for a Galaxy Eyes deck um Gal Galaxy Galaxy Eyes like rank 8 right like in the level 8 yeah because Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon and stuff uh, so um, I guess I mean can you can you combine like blue eyes with photons uh, I, don't, I don't know I never really tried but like a rank 8 deck I guess just off the top of my head would be would be playable right uh, I don't I, I don't know I don't know I'd have to read all the cards I'm just like, you know, just I'm spitballing here, okay? So, since I like um, XC's more than Fusion Seat, there you go, rank 8 deck. <laughs> I have sent the family of Galaxy Eyes and the green sleeves and some more and some cards for you to keep and the uh, dragon sleeves. Thank you very much. Uh, before before I finish the, uh, this letter, I wanted to ask what's your favorite rival and who is your favorite antagonist from all the Yu Gi Oh! series? Um, man, uh, uh, it would it be a cop-out answer to just say Seto Kaiba for like both of those because he was kind of like he, I mean he was the rival and kind of um, you know um, an antagonist you know what I mean um, because he was he was just kind of a he was kind of a douche <laughs> he was kind of a, ri a rich douche in the show let's be real uh, and he was you know, he was Yugi's rival you know and he was constantly trying to beat Yugi and stuff and I thought that I mean now that, that's kind of what dro drove it was kind of like this plot point that helped drive the original anime kind of like uh, Vegeta and Goku you know so um, I'm just gonna to use the cop out answer and stay and just say Kaiba because it just um, you know um, and I rewatch the anime every so often and um, yeah I think uh, I think it's just Kaiba because it really just kind of keeps the um, keeps everything going but really my favorite antagonist like antagonist alone um, you know uh, it would be it would be Pegasus like Pegasus is my favorite um, I even you know I even met the guy that voice acts Pegasus you know what I mean? he does the voice of Pegasus like it would have to be Pegasus but I think as far as like you know the plot of the original show I think Kaiba was more important and integral to that but anyways man I'm, I'm just I'm just talking a lot today oh my gosh I'm never gonna get to all these I'm never gonna get this done <laughs> just kidding so let's see what, let's see what we have so he sent me the entire galaxy package design yes this was all about galaxy uh, galaxy ice photon dragon dude the secret rare one from the 10 dude that is sweet that's way sweet galaxy eyes cypher dragon Oh my gosh, let's see what let's see what else he sent. Probably more X's and stuff that the deck plays. Yes, oh my gosh. That is so sweet. Galaxy Eyes, Cypher, Blade, Dragon. These the, these dragons really do look cool. They're some of the coolest looking dragons in Yu-Gi-Oh. Galaxy Eyes, Full Armor, Photon Dragon. Dude, thank you so much. I will definitely sign these and send them right back your way. But what did you send me? What did you send me to keep? Dude, what is all this? What? These look old, man. The Great Emperor Penguin. Bolt Penguin. Oh my gosh, <laughs> dude. Penguin stuff. Cyber Dragon Nova. Treasure Panda. Hey, Trash Panda. Book of Boon and Card Destruction. So GOAT format stuff. Well, this isn't GOAT, but this uh, this is 2002 format stuff. That's GOAT format stuff. Dude, thank you so much for sending all this. Um, I will definitely uh, get the stack signed and sent right back your way. Dude, thank you so much again. Next up is from Danielle Burkhard. A girl? What? No way. No way. No girls watch Yu-Gi-Oh! channels. Oh, wait. But this is my... Oh, that's right. But girls do watch my Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. That's right. Uh, I'm the exception to the rule. I keep forgetting that. I keep forgetting I'm so awesome that I actually have girls that watch my channel. Pfft. All right. And you know what? Now that I'm opening this and I think, I'm think i thinking about it, I'm pretty sure that I know... That name seems really familiar. I'm pretty sure... If I, if I, I'm not, I'm not going to say defini definitively because I'm terrible with names, but I'm pretty sure this is the same... It is the same channel! I knew it! I knew it! I knew that sounded familiar. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so much better at this. Okay, <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is the same, oh my, I ruined it though, I ruined it, but I was just really excited, I was, I was right about that. Oh my gosh, this is the same chick that drew, uh, she, uh, this is a, um, uh, this is a card divider, it's a card divider, and that she, that she knits these, and she knitted me a Cyber Dragon one uh, last time, it was Cyber Dragon on one side, and Toon Cyber Dragon on the other side, and it was freaking sweet. 
So let's see what she has to say this time. So dear Yugi Nono, hey, it's me again. Yes, the the one that one girl who sent you that thing. You'll notice another custom divider this time featuring your meme and the conspiracy of oh my gosh, the conspiracy of your meme. This divider was sent uh, 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 curi uh, curiously by my boyfriend, that one guy who sent you all those fake card boxes. Yeah, Todd uh, Todd Randy. Yeah, uh, who also was a message. Uh, who also um, has a message to shout out. Top this, Bushka. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, now that that is over, uh, time for more um, time for more exposure. If you want to see something uh, so, or commissioned mo uh, or commissioned. Uh, made okay okay let me back up if you if you want to see something or have a commission made my tumblr is once again cyan souls stitching dump cyan souls stitching dump feel free to message me about anything or find todd and go through his facebook uh hope i hope you enjoy your larry moth uh needleworm uh, no no it's freaking sweet thank you so much uh, I, I don't even know how much time that took to, took to make that thank you so much like seriously like people forget like how much time it, it takes to make and do things and stuff and like that is never lost on me okay i spend so much time editing and stuff like look just believe me i know how much time it takes to do anything <laughs> so i'm like completely appreciative of everything you guys send me and make me and all that stuff thank you all so much thank you specifically so much because this isn't even you know an, a one-time deal you've done this twice now oh my gosh you're crazy you're a mad woman all right so p.s for those wondering i make my own um my own Patterns, so yes, this is a custom and one of a kind PPS. Those with the tits, tits, slap the like button. Well, it's like it's. I guess it's like you and like I don't know two other chicks or something. But thank you so much. Thank you so much for the mat too. I mean, I have this one. Uh, thank you uh, so much for, for being thoughtful. Um, you know, it's 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 a battle. Uh, uh, Chris Mushka is helping me complete the collection. Uh, shout out to that guy. He's amazing. But um, thank you so much, Danielle, for sending again. Um, I will definitely put this with the other one. Um, I haven't found like a real. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't found like a real use for these yet as you know i haven't I've, i haven't used them as card dividers yet uh but um, if the need comes up i will definitely have some so thank you so so much this next one is from a hairy something i that that sounds wrong <laughs> but it's from I, I don't know uh, i can't read that writing it's from the, their first name's harry okay let's see what they have to say so we have a, the return letter some stamps some cards, and let's see what this says. Let's see what my instructions are. Yugi, no, no. I just recently started playing Yu-Gi-Oh again. Well, good. I took a long break, but I am back, and I tell you, I don't know how this these kids put up all these changes so quick. I know that's how I am too. And I say uh, kids because I'm 38, <laughs> but I'm still uh, I'm getting to understand all this link plays and combos. I started watching your channel like four months ago, and I think uh, it is very helpful and very funny, especially the ones with Eugene. Um, I sent you uh, some cards for you to sign and some for your collection thank you very much uh, thanks uh, for all you do for your fans p.s do you trade or sell cards no i don't um i sell um sell cards on my ebay when i when i get time to actually list cards the link to my ebay is not in the description there's like literally nothing on it right now so don't even click on it <laughs> but um i do sell cards uh, through my ebay and when i have time to actually listen like i was just saying but um i don't trade online just because like i'm, I'm gonna be honest like i mean if i had a dollar for every time someone messaged me asking me to trade cards i uh, wouldn't need to do youtube or anything anymore <laughs> i'm just be super super rich so like uh, because of just the sheer amount of requests i get from people wanting to trade cards with me and stuff um i just can't trade i just don't trade at all you know what i mean it's, it's kind of one of those deals where like you know um I, I can't since i can't do it for everybody i have to do it for nobody and it, it really really sucks sometimes it really sucks being me and i have to say no to people a lot but uh, it is what it is it kind of sucks being me sometimes so one thing though i don't know which cards okay there we go i was about to say you didn't okay he put them in here i was like which cards do i sign and which ones do I keep? Okay, he put papers. Uh, he put papers in here. That makes it so easy. Thank you so much for that. Because some like when there 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 has been one time where that happened. I was just like, what what do I do? <laughs> it's the, it creates this whole big mess. Thank you for for doing this. And like the, the the clearer the instructions, the better, guys. The clearer the instructions, the better. So I have to sign some monarch stuff, a pantheism, and ether, the heavenly monarch, and then the new curious, the light sworn dominion, a raid and hand of the light sworn. Uh, so that's everything to sign, dude. I will definitely sign all these. Thank you so so much and keep time star magician you can never have too many of these hey another ultra proto cyber dude that's sweet so so uh so more magician stuff in a proto cyber dragon see um so cyber dragon proto cyber dragon is like he's kind of like the worst cyber dragon but at the same time like 
No, no, he's kind of like the worst Cyber Dragon because he's 1100 attack, and then um, his name is just Cyber Dragon while he's face up on the field, and like that's it. So like uh, I don't know, but he's really really cool. I don't know why they made this an ultra, but like. Um, it looks really cool as an ultra. That's why I'm so fascinated by this card is because it's like um, not, not definitely not the best cyber dragon out of all the uh, you know all the cyber dragons, but it's an ultra somehow. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't know. Like Zwei would be would uh, or Drive rather would be a way better ultra rare than this, for example. But uh, that is, so that's why I'm so fascinated by this. But uh, man, once again, I am talking so much today. Oh my gosh, dude! I will definitely sign these and send them right back your way. Thank you so much for the cards. Thank you so much for writing, dude. I, I really really appreciate it. Next up, we have a familiar your name Josh Kohler dude let's see what you have to say this week so lots of cards fake cards dude this dude always sends me fake cards I'm telling you between Todd and Josh like the two guys send me like so many fake cards it's crazy so um is that does that folded all the way out yeah that is folded all the way out this is like the paper's cut in half so it's weird okay hey Yugi no no if this letter got to you on 2 26 18 no it did not it got to me March whatever today's date is March 5th something uh, but uh, then that's uh, is uh, my first time doing back-to-back -back letters but i just uh, have to give you uh, these Yu-Gi-Oh cards i'm glad you liked uh, the japanese cards oh but, but if you sent on the 26th then uh, that's about right it took about a week to get here so yeah that's about right um i get lots of japanese cards and uh, fake cards from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh collections i buy off of ebay like i said in my first letter uh, this time i got something different so i uh, so um so some so i how you like it yeah, I don't think that was a complete sentence, but um, the the cards are in the Star uh, uh, City, the Star City game sleeves. I was also wondering if you have seen any Yu-Gi-Oh abridged and or the 19 episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh GX. Someone started GX abridged. What is it the same guy? I mean, I'm so far behind. Yes, I yes I've seen Yu-Gi-Oh abridged. Like I've seen a couple episodes of it, but like uh, like I like think I've said before, like uh, I just never have. I never. I don't know how to put this. Um, when I watched DBZ abridged, I thought it was so funny that I watched all of them. All right. Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged, I watched it, and I thought it was funny, but I didn't have the, the I didn't feel that urge to marathon all of them, if that makes sense. So, in other words, I just liked DBZ Abridged that much better, not saying that Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged is bad. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how else to word that, but uh, moving on here. If you have seen them, what's your thoughts about them? Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge is funny. I didn't even know that they were doing GX. Like, I had literally no clue. Sometimes I'm so out of the loop, it's crazy. But uh, I think they are really fun. Uh, P.S. I didn't uh, pay uh, five bucks for the... Uh, P.S. I didn't pay five bucks for the cards. P.P.S. Some fake Yu-Gi-Oh! cards don't fit in Yu-Gi-Oh! sized sleeves. P.P.P.S. If the fissure is fake, the, 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 it is a good fake, but there there was a different spell card that I know for sure is fake. Yeah, from the cards you sent me last week. Um, I seriously, I, I don't know which one the fake is. I found out the fissure was real, uh, but I've been using it, like literally I've been using it as a proxy Raigeki <laughs> in one of my 2002 decks. That's what I've been using it for because I need another Raigeki and I was like, I'm just going to use this fissure as my, <laughs> as my Raigeki. So I've been using that, that fissure that I thought was fake as a proxy Raigeki in a test 2002 deck right now. Just, just so you know where your card went. <laughs> but, uh, PPPS. I am uh, I'm bad at folding letters. <laughs> Good enough. But let's see what cards he's talking about. So this, these are the ones in the in the game sleeves. So hey, consecrated light. So custom. Wow. That's really cool. Mystical shine ball. They're like Jigglypuffs. Pokemon. Another mystical shine ball. Whoa. Those are actually really cool. Plasma ball. Gymnite Pearl. Oh, they made him into Frieza. That is sweet. Oh my gosh, that is cool. That is really, really cool. They made him into Frieza. There's that other card, uh, Elemental Hero Terra Firma, that looks like, like looks really like Frieza too. <laughs> but these fake cards, dude. So I don't think I have that one. Or maybe I do. Uh, that one I do have for sure. Uh, if you guys did not know, um, you know my fans send me a lot of fake Yu-Gi-Oh cards. But oh my gosh, that's cool. That is way cool, guys. That is a Japanese super rare Infernity Archfiend. That is really sweet. Thank you so much for that. I actually really, really like this monster. I really love Infernities. Um, I, I'm, I'm really sad that I didn't get into Infernities, like, you know, when they were, like, at full power and stuff, you know, like the rank 4 deck, because, like, uh, looking back at that deck and playing that deck with Levolvo Chain, I love playing that, like, looking back at that format. But, um, you know, like, like hat format, you know what I mean? Like that era. But um, I wasn't playing this deck at the time. And, you know, when I you was know, really living it at the time, I was playing Zombies, and I kind of regret that. But uh, this, this card 
art is really really sweet thank you so much for that these are also really really cool i'll add these to all the like uh, other like ultra you know i have actually have like a box where i keep all my um um how do i put this like alternates like drawn on cards um i guess like alternate art cards like fan old fan art cards i don't know what, what are these called i guess they're called fan art or custom fan art Yu -Gi -Oh cards I, I i have no idea what they, what these are actually call, called but um dude thank you so much for sending again like you sent me some, some seriously really really cool stuff dude thank you so so much again let's do another package next though this one is from alex uh kronfeld kronfeld however you pronounce that uh kronfeld or kronfeld so and this one's taped so it's gonna take me a second maybe it's not gonna take me a second oh it's wrapped up though so or maybe it won't take me a second I, I don't know that was like some confusing packaging so uh this is also whoa a lot, a lot of a lot of cards in that That's, and this is a that is the return envelope okay so what are my instructions though okay so oh oh my gosh okay i'm gonna try really really hard to read this handwriting <laughs> my gosh yes i do remember you because your handwriting is terrible that's the first line yo you, you, i'm sorry but your handwriting is really bad oh my gosh yeah, i do remember you though um yo yugi jesus remember me i'm the guy who sent a crush card and the, yes 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 and the um the leo gun um, that I can um, only assume went through the wash washing machine um, it, it was honestly like that when you got it. I have since um, gotten back um, into the game and found um, found a store that runs locals on Sundays. That's really cool. My normal um, my, my normal LGS that I got to for uh that i got to for magic um uh, uh, magic something sells Yu-Gi-Oh stuff but um doesn't actually run tournaments uh so he's talking about a store so he's talking about another store that um that does magic but not Yu-Gi-Oh i think but um i i was um actually a um about about to uh, i was actually um, about to get a lot of packs of Pendulum Evolution, um, BLLR, and Legendary Duelist 1. I started with a, a starter deck, Link Strike, uh, for the uh, current Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, um, stuff anyways. Uh, I'm trying really hard to read all this, I really am. Um, I wound up with Pendulum Magicians, long story short, I came second in the first locals I went to that... Uh, that uh, actually decided to have a tournament for. Uh, normally, we just uh, stand, stand around playing, um, uh, playing slash building, um, as uh, playing slash building. As for the cards, I said this time, um, I sent you a small uh, care package uh, to deal with uh, to deal with the beans infestation. No, you guys underestimated me. I already killed all the beans, uh, uh, but um, consisting of a dark uh, dark hole and some monster born to bring back Eugene, um, your your pet Karibo, and anyone else because <laughs> anyone else who gets caught in the blast, um, I, I'd have I'd uh, I'd. I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. I'd have a. I have a Raigeki, but I don't actually. I. I have. I have, I'd have sent a Raigeki, but I don't actually own one. Okay, that's what he's saying. He would have sent a Raigeki, but he didn't own one. Um, in other words, um, I'm trying to build a Burning Abyss. Um, would you like, uh, would you, would like, um, Burning Abyss, would you like to sign some of any of my stuff I have acquired for the deck? Uh, absolutely. Uh, the other, the other cards I, I want signed the most most meaning ah, gosh I don't know what that says I don't know what that word is but um question time so I think he's wanting me to sign cards uh, cards for him so question time um question number one do you think um cyber dragon um ojamas could work uh yeah, yes as a supreme tier deck also what no don't, don't build that <laughs> the, the, the ojama cyber dragon no don't build anything with with ojamas in it as a, as a rule of thumb dude um also what tech cards would you recommend for it? Um, it, anything that doesn't say Ojama on it. <laughs> God, don't, don't play Ojamas, oh my gosh. Uh, question number two. Um, and, um, question number two, am I the, um, am I the only, uh, am I the only person who doesn't actually mind, um, mind the, the, 
the uh, the gold rares. Okay, something about gold rares. Um, yeah, I think you are because gold rares. <laughs> I don't know, like uh, gold rares. I liked the gold rare reprints, you know, because it's always good getting uh, you know good cards reprinted. But um, I didn't I didn't like the way that they looked. That's really the problem with gold rares is they're that they're really really ugly. They're not as ugly as some of the cards I've seen come out of the tins, you know, like that that's that terrible you know silver secret uh, tiger king. Oh my oh god, that, that card's terrible. But yeah, so the gold cards um, aren't aren't the worst, but they are they just they're just not the best so question number three um how uh, stale do you think or how how yeah how stale do you think them targets towards the the um pre the release of an of a new set how stale do you think them something I, I don't know what that question is, dude. I'm not gonna lie, like I can't read it. Also, the cardboard wrapping, the cards I sent uh, around, um, should be used in the same manner for the cards. Um, cards coming back. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, that's what he's trying to say. Um, forget, uh, forget something crushed in the shipping. Yeah, I, yeah, I get it. Like, uh, yeah, just to make sure that the cards don't get crushed. Yeah. Uh, sincerely, I'm um, Alex uh, Cronfield. Uh, P.S. If the uh, dark hole uh, doesn't work, I'm sending some um, resistance fighters. <laughs> what? Under the guise of a goat token. If you are ended, I already defeated the beans. Though. <laughs> oh my gosh, you you guys underestimated me. I wasn't gonna you know drag the beans thing out for like three weeks. No, I wanted the beans out of my house. Okay, they needed to get out of my house, so I got them out of my house. So a uh, P.P.S. The correct uh, answer to the question about the uh, staleness of of uh, is is that meta staleness is purely relative um compared to the oh so he was talking about like stale uh, so staleness in the game uh, uh, right now the game isn't stale at all matter of fact in my opinion the game is too diverse right now and people are really having a hard time uh building uh optimal decks and stuff in my opinion but um that's that is just my opinion though i'm gonna be completely honest dude from about here down i can only read certain words so um i'm just gonna i'm just gonna sign your cards and send them back to you i'm really sorry dude i'm like i just can't spend like too much time you know trying to, to trying to make out all this because I still have other stuff to get to. I'm really, really sorry, dude. But thank you so much for writing again. I will definitely sign all of these and send them back your way. Thank you so, so much again. Next one is from Morgan Boyer, though. Morgan Boyer. That is another familiar name. Let's see what he has to say. Oh, my gosh. So we have a letter, um, a bunny stamped envelope, <laughs> and some cards. Let's see what this says. Uh, Dear Yugi, no, no, yes, no, sometimes, maybe. It has been a while since I wrote you a letter. I wanted to ask why uh, was Eugene shot by your pet Karibo? <laughs> have you heard of about the new uh, layer of darkness structure deck yes this was written a little bit ago this took a while to get to me uh 218 18 that took a long time to get to me dude where do you live um actually i kind of just uh threw away your your envelope or i would or i would know <laughs> but, but um i would uh start uh, picking up a playset of a uh, full force virus if if i were you uh, my next anti-meta deck that i will be uh, working uh is going to be uh pay 800 cle uh, forts hopefully this deck will be a uh, fun a uh, fun one to play it can be um in Demise Klee is uh, is a deck. Um, one other thing I wanted to ask you: um, Have you heard of a game called uh, Jack and Dexter? Yeah, yeah, da Jack and Dexter. Yeah, oh yeah, I remember that game. Uh, do you? Uh, this is for PS2 and stuff back in the day. Uh, do you think uh, Plant um, FTK will be uh, a thing by any chance in the TCG meta game? I have no idea. And uh, when we get the uh, Era Mage Link Monster, um, the thing is, like plants kind of fall in and out of out of re relevancy. Like you know, uh, the plants are just kind of like one of those engines that doesn't necessarily necessarily need to get hit unless it becomes a problem like it wasn't like synchro the synchro era you know what i mean but like uh, i don't think i don't i don't know i don't know i, I have no idea but um uh, one last thing uh, hashtag uh, jerry beans man otk um also uh, hashtag jerry beans man otk also you should have a video of uh, eugene uh, playing against your uh, pendulum magicians that's actually not a bad idea i also have i also have a favor to ask uh, can you uh, by any chance make a a uh, Teledad deck profile. Today's metagame is so stupid. I am considering playing uh, old formats. What is your favorite format? Um, uh, what, what is your favorite uh, format? Mine would the mine would have to be when a spiral was at full power really uh, gross no my favorite one uh modern format was really really good goat formats really fun but my favorite format to play ever is just good old may 2002 the first Yu-Gi-Oh tcg format ever and it's like super simple but like when you but like looking back at it knowing the things we know about card advantage and everything right now um looking like taking all the knowledge you have now and like applying it back then makes the format so in-depth and fun and just everything i love it love it love it love it dragon ruler format was awesome 
also one of my favorite formats. I will be sending you some fake cards since I have literally no use for them. Okay. Um, have you heard um, of our Lord and Savior, Jerry Beads, man? Um, I have a few other questions. Okay. So question number one, do you have any uh, Klee cards? Only if you have spares. Oh yeah, I have a, a, the, a Klee monolith, uh, which, yeah, Klee monolith that got reprinted like a bunch in the Pendulum um, Evolution um, box. You have a bunch of those. But um, the spares, I know I, a lot of people ask a lot for cards. Yeah, that's another thing. It's kind of what I was talking about earlier since like, you know, I have so many people asking me, like I just have to say no to everybody and it, it just kind of sucks. But um, so question number two, um, have you thought of, um, have you thought of trading? Have you thought of trading something have you thought about trading uh, i don't know what that word is but trading some uh, trading oh online that's what it says have you thought about trading online yeah it's, it's something i thought about once again one of those things where i get like about 50 people a day you know asking me you know, for trades and stuff and i just kind of have to say no to everybody um you know i used to trade online with with certain people though and uh, in the earlier days i really did um so um uh, question number three uh, lastly would you uh, be uh, so kind to sign my cleefort monoliths and my scouts i absolutely i will be sending you um uh, um, I will be sending you uh, Zelda, is that what it says? Uh, or Ze no, Zephra. I was like, man, Zelda stuff? <laughs> Zephra stuff, also. So, yeah, awesome, dude. I would find anything you send me, dude. Um, I deeply apologize for this letter being three pages long, but I, I really enjoy your channel and I have a question for you. What is the most hated deck you don't like? Um, have you ever been OTK'd by e Eugene? Uh, so, so, several questions. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, um, what is the most, the, the one most hated deck you don't like? It, it chain burn like that it, it should shouldn't be a deck at all so um have you um ever been otk'd by eugene um yeah in the uh time wizard video like that deck is broken so have you been otk'd by spiral or oh yeah I've, I've been beat by spiral um that is why you play herald and go first because you don't lose to anything when you go first with herald <laughs> but, um so on uh, turn two by uh, or we get uh, destroyed on turn two by trick stars everyone's lost to trick stars every now and then it happens um i have uh, i have and i was playing uh, cyber dragons so um have you um i have and i was playing cyber dragons random sentence he stuck in <laughs> that's really cool have you thought of uh, playing uh, cyber darks uh, no uh, not really i've always just been no more into the cyber dragons uh, i see potential good work on content best regards morgan p.s play me sometime on dev pro i actually do do dual, dual people i do my patrons and stuff all the time um if you guys are at least a five dollar patron you get to you get to duel against me um so that's that's that is the thing and then what was it like ten dollars you get a card off the wall so you get to duel me and get a card off the wall just just check out my patreon rewards i even have a reward set up to get me to go to a regional and hang out with you all day so yeah i have a i have a patreon rewards for the cover just about everything but the thing is i only get to duel patrons you know what i mean because they because they they're paying they're paying to duel uh you know duel me one uh, but really what it comes down to is is more of what i've been saying like i would love to have like you know 50 of me around to be able to duel everybody that asks for a duel and stuff like that but it's just it's impossible like there's not 50 of me there's only one of me and i only get time to you know duel my patrons and stuff i don't get time to you know i can't just duel everybody it's like one of the, another one of those things where you know just because of all the mass amount of people asking me for the same thing i just have to say no to everybody it's it's really really sad once again sometimes it just it sucks to be me it, it, like, like i don't like telling like saying no to people that watch me and stuff it, it, it sucks like it's like you know someone wants to you know wants to play with you and they think they, they and they like you and they think you're cool and stuff and it's just like i no i can't and it's it, 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 it just sucks it sucks but um dude let's see what uh, I'll, I'll, let's see what cards you sent though you said a cleef ford monolith cleef ford scout uh, i don't want to sit here and talk about you know not being able to do things for my fans i don't like talking about it but um so cleef ford a uh, monolith and then we have uh, cleef ford scout of course dude i will sign all these for you zephra uh, uh zephra zephra yeah zephra neo secret of the yang zine and a zephra divine strike dude i will definitely sign all of these and send them back your way thank you so so much for writing again and thank you uh, so much for sending cards and you know and liking stuff and believe it or not i really want to thank you for these questions too because um honestly uh, when when these questions when these kind of questions get asked um i and i can say them you know just like uh you know in a video to where everyone can see them it saves me from having to individually tell people no when they message me if that, if that makes any sense so it, it actually saves me not only a lot of time but it saves me you know the the awkwardness of having to tell someone no <laughs> you know you know what i mean so uh, thank you so 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 much for, for writing and uh sending and asking questions and everything again all right so let's get to this last box 
we have one box left. This is the last box, and then we have a letter from Anthony Cantos, and that is it for this fan mail, guys. Um, but let's get this box open first, if I can. Oh my gosh, I seriously don't know what is in this. I wasn't expecting a box, so let's see what this is. Okay, so I got the tape cut. All right, I seriously haven't looked in here yet. Let's see what we got. Ooh, that is a lot of cards. Wow, a lot of cards. And then that is a return envelope. So let's set that. The, the address is written really big. So let's set that over there. Whoa, why are there. What? Why are there so many cards? Man, this is from. Uh, this is from. Uh, oh my. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Letters falling out of letters. Who is, who is this from again? This is from. This is from a uh, Gustavo Alvarez. That's what I forgot. So, so from Gustavo. Let's see what he has to say. Uh, hey, Yugi Nono, I like watching your videos, and you and you're my favorite YouTuber. Thank you so much. Um, I, st I started playing Yu-Gi-Oh! and I got some of my uh, friends to uh, start playing and they liked it. I, I sent you a, a few cards that I don't really use that might be useful to you. Thank you so much. You can keep the cards that are in the box and the ones with blue sleeves to, uh, and, and the ones and the ones with blue sleeves uh, signed and sent back. Absolutely. Um, I have a question. What is your favorite uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! card ever? See, that's that's something I get asked a lot, and, and it varies on the day, but it's usually something like Relinquished, Toon World, Toon Dark Magician Girl, um, you know, uh, like not, not, well, not really Toon Dark Magician Girl, more Toon Summon Skull. I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, it really depends on the day. I like Fuchsia Richie. I like the, like the um, I don't know, and it, and it also depends on you know if I'm in a mood to play or like if I'm if, or if I'm in a nostalgic mood if I'm like if I'm in like playing mode and stuff my answer might be like my favorite card to use might be summoner monk because I really like to use a summoner monk in decks or at least I used to for a really long time in Yu-Gi-Oh um so yeah um, I like summoner monk a lot but like as far as like you know really you know boiling down my favorite card of all time um, I really like Bandai Swords of Revealing Light. I've, I've fallen in love with that, but it's a very, very expensive card. I really like Toon World as a card. Just absolutely love Toon World as a card. Um, I think those are the most, those are my two favorites, or yeah, something like that. Those are, those are my two favorites, and then of course, uh, Relinquished being my favorite monster, I would think. But uh, anyways, anyways, uh, once again though, sometimes the answers like vary a little bit. It just it really just depends on the day and how I'm feeling and stuff. But let's see what this other one says. So from yeah, this is from Gustavo. This other one says, Blade, Armor, Ninja, Elemental Hero, Wild Cyclone, uh, return these cards to Gustavo. Oh, so he made me a list. Okay, so he made me a list just to d double check. Thank you for that. That really, really helps. So, like, so he made a list of the cards uh, to be sure to send back. But, dude, oh my gosh. A lot of, like, you just sent me a bunch of bulk, dude. Thank you. That is insane. So sign those, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So he said, yeah, he said, um, keep, oh my gosh, no, oh my god, petit bots, dude, petit bots. Okay, so, oh man, he wants me to sign all of these, Blade Armor Ninja, uh, Evil Hero Wild Cyclone, uh, Giant Red Hand, Cyber Eltonin, Majestic Mech Goryu, I think, yeah, 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 uh, then Absolute Crusader, u Bell and a Diamond Dire Wolf. Dude, I will absolutely sign these and get them right back to you. Matter of fact, let's put those there so I won't forget them. Dude, thank you so much for all these cards. This is so sweet. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is really, really, really cool. Super Snow. Just, oh, wow. Mystical Elf. Whoa, uh, Ryu Senshi, that's really good in goats. Another Super Snow, Dark Blade, rare Dark Blade, dude! That's actually a third one for my set, dude, that's really sweet. That's If you guys don't know, that's actually another one of my favorite monsters uh, from when I was a kid, so that's really cool. Wow, Secret Rare, Laquari. Wow, dude. Just so much cool bulk. I love looking through bulk, guys. I really do, because like you never know like what cool stuff you're gonna see. Like I like looking. I don't like looking through my bulk because I've, I've picked it clean. <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, wow, like like stuff like that. Flame swordsman, like a grappa randomly. Lone, like right, right, like, right there, just like a gold lone fire blossom. Like that's good. Secret pyramid turtle. Like you just find Lajin. You just find like so many like you know random cool cool cards that you just you, you've forgotten about. You know. And that's what's really cool about like looking through bulk. 
I'm not gonna sit here and like, you know, run my battery completely down looking through all of this though, because I still have another letter letter to open. Gustavo, thank you so, so much for sending all these. Thank you so much for sending cards to sign. I'll be sure to get these right back your way. Thank you so, so much again. I'm absolutely speechless right now. All right, so for the last thing, let's open this up from Anthony Cantos. Oh my gosh, I can tell you right now though, this is going to be a little dated because oh, I was talking to him. He did send this before I defeated all the Jerry Beans men in my house. So let's see, <laughs> gosh, Jerry Bean, Jerry Memes, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Yugi Bean Bean, I decided uh, to take a week off, so uh, so all 56 Jerry Beans men I sent you can, uh, can get uh, settled in just just fine. But from the looks of things, it looks like they already love you. But anyways, I hope you had a good week. I hope you did too. But be, uh, because I had an, an, an interesting one, I was scrolling through uh, Facebook like I usually do when one of my friends... Um, one of my friends, um, something, one of my friends posted about the uh, Netflix live action Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, I, it, it, uh, made it immediately I immediately got uh, Death Note vibes later uh, that night when watching it because we all know that live action <laughs> anime movies 90% of the time are trash they are actually more like 99.999% of the time they're trash um, however uh, the uh, the longer the movie went on the more shocking I sh shockingly started to like it and by the time it was over I really liked it what it's good and was shocked uh, it, it was uh, it uh, has it has its flaws still, but I would actually suggest uh, sitting down with uh, Mrs. No-No and watching it. You know what? I might actually do that thing because everyone else told me it was terrible, but if it's actually good, I will definitely watch it. Dude, thanks for the heads up. Um, that took uh, longer than expected, so I'll only ask you one question. Um, no, question, the one and only question. I know you said not to ask uh, for cards, but I would love it if, uh, if you can... Um, have if you okay, let me back up, but I would love it if you can if you can if you have any spares if I could have a near mint ghost rare solemn judgment I don't have any ghost judgments. I have a play set of secret judgments a near mint legend of blue eyes a head of exodia <laughs> God no, you're kidding. You're really specific and I don't have a, a near mint a uh, head. I have I have like an arm lob, but it's I don't know if it's if I would say it's I guess it's pretty mint. I, I don't know I don't know, but it's not first dead. Let's put it that way. Uh, and a playset of near mints, um, near mints shut and jump crush cards, please. Dude, what are you on about? No, I have I don't have any near mint shut and jump crush cards. The what, what? Anthony, come on now! <laughs> oh my gosh, shut and jump crush cards. Oh my gosh, it would make me and the Jerry's very happy. I'm sure it would. Shut and jump crush card, really. <laughs> God, that is, that's a lot of money, dude. And you, I think you know that. I think you're trolling me. Anyways, the cards are yours to keep, and I'll and I'll see you soon. Signed, Anthony Cantos. P.S. Have you named any of the Jerry Beats men? And if so, who's your favorite? Oh, my gosh. They're all named Jerry, except for King, the King Bean. His name is also Jerry. And they speak beans. I, I'm pretty sure that's how they work. But, dude, thank you so much for the cards. Koala, koala. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Bear, Valhalla Hall of the Fallen, a Wolf Light Swarm Beast, that's good, and then a Junk Puppet. Dude, thank you so, so much for the cards. Thank you so much for writing. Thank all of you. I just want to thank all of you guys seriously right now for, for writing and, um, and writing every week and then, uh, you know, liking my videos and, and um, you know, liking the Facebook page, the Twitter, uh, supporting me on Patreon, you know, everything. I mean, this is the part of the video that, that I just sit here and just thank you guys about uh, 50 million times. Um, I haven't thanked you guys a total of 50 million in this video So I have to thank you guys right now. Like thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's that's about it so <laughs> Now that I have now that I'm at 50 million. Thank yous. I have to get to 50 million and one Thank you all so much again seriously for, for sending every week and, and everything else you do for me I'm truly humbled all the time from you guys and just your love and support and just in everything you do for me Thank you all so much. Um, that is going to do it for this video guys I can't wait to get started on all the videos. I have planned for you this week um and, and even some that might come up that i don't have planned <laughs> like i hope I, like i'm always hopeful every week that i get to uh, pump out as much content as possible for you guys and get as much done for you guys as i can um and and, and you guys deserve it you deserve everything i can give you and more uh, because of everything that you've given me i seriously wouldn't be here or be doing this without you so thank you all so much again and uh now that i have a, over well over 50 million thank yous in this video that's going to do it guys and until next time be sure to dick slap that like button and subscribe thank Thanks again. Subscribe!
Nee, nee, nee.